Vita number eight and almost my eighth time recording. <laughs> I'm still so terrible at this. Um, the prompt for this Vita is... Let me open up the thing. You decide to set up a second home anywhere in the world. Where else would you live and why and what is your home like? I decided a long time ago that if I actually had the money and I could actually put money aside, I would really like to build up my own cabin from the ground up. Considering homes um, anywhere around here, or anywhere, uh, cheap are typically somewhere between 40000 and 50000 and those are kind of like bare minimum, they might be nice, they might be horrible kind of places. I just decided that since a cabin would probably cost me anywhere from 10000 to 20000 just building up from the ground up, not including wiring, plumbing, electricity, and all that, it would probably be my best option, especially if I could... Uh, at least live without electricity or set up my own solar panels eventually, it would actually save me a lot of money in the long run and I could have this place that I absolutely love from the beginning, can put in whatever rooms that I want from the beginning, um, and I don't have to search for which place has the best kind of things that I want in it and where I could possibly set up anything because I'll already have everything planned out. <laughs> um, where I would want to live uh, my friends, my boyfriend, and so many different things have influenced me into wanting to move out to either somewhere in the UK or somewhere in Japan. Even if I didn't have a cabin, I would probably want to move out to there, and I really hope that I'm going to be able to move out to there at one point. Um, Japan, mainly because of the fact that my boyfriend and I, uh, my boyfriend and I, have always wanted to, kind of. Well, we haven't always wanted to, but for a very long time, we wanted to move out to Japan and just live there because, you know, I don't know. We, this is gonna sound awful, but we did love, we do love anime and manga, but aside from that, getting more into it, we ended up really liking the culture and the just, just generally Japan. And we decided a few times that it would just be fantastic to move out there. And uh, one of my friends actually planned on becoming an English major and moving out there to Japan since English uh, teachers that are fluent in English are apparently a dime a dozen most in uh, most cases. So if we all ended up moving out there, it would be freaking fantastic. <laughs> um, as for the UK... It was really, like, just a thing where a friend and I, or a few friends and I, have always been influenced by, uh, shows, and when we actually looked into, uh, the UK, I actually fell in love with a lot of things, uh, there. It has this, the UK, to me, has this kind of charm to it that I really, really love, and I would love to live there, surrounded by all this charm, especially since. <laughs> I don't know if this is true, but it seems like the UK has a lot of rainy days and not a whole lot of sunshine uh, a lot of the time uh, versus America. And I really, really love dreary, dreary, uh, gloomy days. Like, rainy days are my favorite, and I think I would just flourish in the UK if that is the case. Um, if not, either way, again, there's just a lot of charm there, and I would... I don't know. I would love to move out there. And so, uh, yeah, that is this video. <laughs> um, I am off to do my other videos, so off I go.